It's just that I feel that it's too much. Sometimes that they cross the line. place but it's like tastes like shit. It was horrible. It was the it most was horrible fun. Spanish food that we've ever tasted. Char. Are they still open? Yeah I think they're still open. Wow and that was that yeah. was the worst. We decided to also go in the morning because we try to stay away from people of course because you know the cases if you guys don't know the cases are once again increasing here in Italy. Yesterday I think there was around 1400 new cases. Yeah it's kind of it's kind of scary we still have to be careful and we just have to wear a mask like even though they lifted the lockdown me and Marco always wore a mask the we mask never gave up the mask no no we didn't every time we went out um, especially in crowded places the other day we ate out in Pompeii and whenever we eat out we actually eat out early like we eat at 7 p.m. just so that you know, the place doesn't Not get too crowded, crowded yeah. so we just gotta play smart and we gotta keep safe good thing that you know we're both introverts <laughs> And that we both work from home so we don't really you know deal with people i hope you guys are all doing good we are currently on our still 14th week of our pregnancy Yay. um we i haven't actually told them the gender yet babe because we are going to reveal it to them all right <laughs> if you guys haven't watched um my last pregnancy update i will leave the video link up here i told you guys that we already know the gender of our baby we found that out when I did the blood test, the NIPT, my 10th week, can you imagine like a baby this small, you can already find out the gender because of a blood test, like my blood test. So we will definitely reveal the gender with you guys, but I also just want Marco to be there with me because, you know, um, it takes two to make a baby. <laughs> so well, I hope you guys look out for that, watch out for that. And that's it. Hope you guys have a good day. Off to the mall we go. Guys, we just got back from grocery. Didn't vlog much. I couldn't vlog much because everyone, like when you're at the grocery right now, everyone's kind of like rushing because you know that the place is going to be filled up soon, which, you know, you're trying to avoid the crowd. Everyone's just kind of like rushing. That's why I didn't vlog. I just wanted to show you guys this really quick because I'm going to put it away and put it in the fridge. We bought free range chicken. Let me show you guys that. And this is how many kilograms? Probably three. 3 point, yeah, 3 kilograms. So this is like one whole big chicken. And when we say free range, um, excuse me, Mr. Marco Chirilo, can you explain free range, please? Free range means that the chicken is outside and it's not stuffed with antibiotics, basically. So it's like fresh. No, I mean not fresh, but like free range. It's free, it's free from medicine and hormones and all this crap. It's all natural. Exactly naturally made so yeah we decided to get this because you know it's good to have um legit food <laughs> so i'm gonna put this away in the fridge first and then we'll put it in the freezer and the guy said that we can actually freeze this and put it in the freezer so you guys look a little blurry ah there we go that's better this is actually really let's put this in the fridge 
and then I'll deal with that later. Finally, I can do my adobo because I haven't done chicken adobo in a long, long time. It's been a while. If you're acidic, it's not really good if you have... Sorry, the wind is really noisy. If you have acid, it's not really great if you have it all the time. So I took a break from that, but we can have chicken adobo again. Anyways, guys, we bought quite a few things because, you know... Where's the other, where's the other bag? Oh, and I also need to put something else in the fridge. Alright guys, I don't know if I should do a haul, but because I've always been doing hauls every time I vlog. But that's because we uh, always do grocery whenever I vlog. Nothing. Nothing in particular, nothing new. Um, but we did buy more um, greeny food this time. Greeny food. Um, leafy vegetables and more vegetables this time. One of the things that I bought, or that we bought, is cauliflower. So they don't have cauliflower in like markets now because it's summertime. So I was like, oh my goodness, they have this. And I was actually looking and hoping to find cabbage and broccoli. But unfortunately, the, the supermarket we went to didn't have it. So I just decided to get this and maybe we can cook it with pasta. I haven't cooked this ever since, you know, summer kicked in. So oh, I also need to put this one in the freezer. This. Okay, fine. Let's just do a really quick haul then. Pelicola, saran wrap, spinach. Bag of spinach, banana. This is actually really good because I get hungry every now and then, so munching on banana is a good, you know, good good thing. Um, I also bought this. It's kind of like string beans, fagiolini, um, and I decided to, you know, we can do this with like adobo, pork adobo, popcorn, just in case we want popcorn. Uh, this is icing sugar. No sugar. What do you say in English? Um, icing powder or something like that for when I make cake. This is Marco's Collectorio or mouthwash. I also bought garlic and this one is cocoa powder, uh, cocoa powder, cacao powder. Yeah, cocoa powder. This is for when I make tiramisu and I'm deciding to do tiramisu over the weekend. Corn. Ah, oh, yes, in regards to the tinola, I think it's really good that I start eating more soupy food because here guys summertime they don't actually eat soupy things they don't eat like minestrone they don't eat like pork stew beef stew blah 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 and all that not like in the philippines you can have it all the time but that's because only in the philippines like you have only one season which is summertime and rainy but i decided to just buy this because maybe i can do tinola one day um during the summertime milk we bought two bottles of milk and grapes and zucchini i gotta always have my zucchini because i like to put it in like egg um i also do it with my pasta which i did in my last vlog and i think that's it see that was a really quick haul guys thank you guys for watching my very quick haul that is it for our grocery for the day it's currently 10 30 so it took us about you know an hour to do grocery which i think is really quick so i'm just gonna put this away guys and we will get started with our day. There will be a time when you and me finally can talk. If you speak now, you editing Marco's um, videos because he has some videos that I need to edit. If you guys are actually new to my channel and if you don't know who I am <laughs> or if you don't know you know what we do. So Marco is actually also a YouTuber. He is a um, guitarist, guitarist, guitarist. He's, he plays the guitar and he uh, has a lot of like 
guitar lessons. If you want to check out his channel, I'll leave his channel um, link up above so they can you know, check it out. And most of his lessons are his own um, most of the time. He doesn't do any songs because of course, you know, when you do songs, it's kind of hard to do it on YouTube because you have like cop copyright claims. His lessons are usually beginner friendly. Even though like I edit his videos, guitar is something that I don't think I will ever learn. It's just too complicated. I feel like it's too multitasking like with all the fingers and everything. Yeah, if you want to go ahead and check that out, go ahead and check it out. Go to his channel. Yesterday we were looking at, um, if you guys don't know us, the duo, they are a couple. They're actually a married couple. They have this beautiful baby girl. Her name is Zyla. And one of the, um, Carissa, which is one of the, us, the duo, she's a pure Filipina. And yesterday I was watching uh, their videos on Instagram, mostly Carissa's videos. One of her videos was showing how Zyla, their little, like two year old, almost two year old girl, I think, she starts to read. And though she can't read the whole book, like, her mom, she starts the sentence and then Sila would end it with whatever, uh, you know, that sentence would end up. I think she has it memorized already, so I think it's really, really great that kids can actually do this. You can tell that she's a really, really smart kid, like at the age of less than two years old. And I'm like, oh my god, babe, I wish I were a baby and I hope her baby is like this. You know, it can be. It really depends on the parents. Of course, we gotta start, I told Marco that we gotta start reading to our baby, even if, you know, our baby's still in the stomach. Once our baby starts to hear things, I think it's really, really great that we buy like children's book, baby book, even if it's, you know, it's still within my stomach. I know it's kind of weird. And there's one thing that I actually also wanted to uh, talk to you guys about. Now, I know that I'm probably going to be bashed by mostly Italian moms or Italian women. And what I'm going to say is just based on my observance, everything that I'm, you know, explaining or, you know, I guess comparing here in Italy versus in the Philippines is just based on my observing things. Like I observe things, how they are, and I'm not gonna lie, you know, I'm gonna tell you guys how it is. But one of the things that I really, really, you know, noticed, um, and also Marco, it's not only me, of course I have to drag his name into this as well. One of the things that I really noticed is how kids are raised here in Italy. There is such a big difference with how kids are raised in the Philippines. I don't know how it will come out, not in a negative way, but I'm pretty sure it will come out in a negative way. So if you wanna bash me, feel free to bash me, but you know, I'm just gonna say what I observe. Okay. Right, Mala? What's about bashing? Who's gonna bash my wife? No, 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 I'm just saying, I'm gonna explain to them how kids are raised here and how kids are here. Mm. In Italy versus, you know, other places. Well, in Italy, you want in South Italy. But I'm not like gonna generalize whole of Italy. I'm just basing it on my observance since we live in the South. So I don't know if it's the same in the North. Um, so yeah, where was I? So yeah, feel free to bash me if you want to bash me, but this is just based on my observance. But we did notice this um, a few times. Each time that we went out, each time that we, you know, went on vacation, we noticed that parents are really onto their kids here. And in the, in the Philippines, you know, mom, moms also love their kids. But it's just that we're not really onto them like 24 seven. Like everything, every move that they make, like three year olds, every move that they make, their parents are on them like, oh, wow, good job. Like, I mean, I'm not saying that it's bad that you praise your kids every time that they do something, take one step, okay, praise them. But I think sometimes they overdo it that for me, it looks like they're treating their kid as if it's like a special kid, you know, like a special type of kid. And you have to treat them normal, like, you know, like a normal human being, you have to talk to them like a normal human being. And the way parents like talk to their kids here is just so different because they talk to them like, even when they're like five-year-old, they talk to them like they're a two-year-old. So for me, it's a big impact on the kid because the kid's thinking is like, oh, like I'm babied, I am spoiled, I guess that's how you want to say it. I'm special because, you know, my mom thinks I'm doing such a great job. I don't know how I'm, I'm explaining it, if I'm explaining it correctly or not. I just feel that parents are really, really onto their kids here in the South. Um, to the point that they just feel so dependent on their parents. I'm not saying that, you know, Filipinos, Filipino moms don't care about their kids. It's just that we let them learn along the way. We let them make mistakes. You know, if you trip, if you want to climb, go ahead and climb. But if you fall, you just have to get back up. Here, it's more of like, oh my God, oh my God, are you okay? Like, 
like there's this panic each time. And there was this one time when we went on vacation and there was this mom and like maybe a two-year-old girl and she was climbing steps like on a playground. Each like one step that she would make, one step up, she'd be like, oh my God, good job. It's like, it's just too much. For me, it's just too much. Another thing is like how they are so dependent on their parents. In the Philippines, and I know that in other countries as well, when you're at the age of like, you know, when you turn into a mature person, like let's say 18, 19, 20, you turn into like a very independent person. Like my niece, she has like three kids, she's 24, I think and she already has a house she has already bought her house we are very independent people because not because you know our parents don't care about us but mostly it's because our parents let us do and learn things on our own because that's just how life is supposed to be you know there's nothing wrong there's nothing wrong with how parents treat their kids here it's just that i feel that it's too much sometimes that they cross the line that just leave you know the kid as it is let him or her learn from their mistakes let him or her grow because i don't think that they're letting them grow in their own way yeah that's how just i observe things adults here still live with their parents and i know that because here in the south they're very very family oriented like the family is just like this they're very family oriented i think me and mark are actually on the same page on this one that when you know our kid is born i don't want us to treat you know our baby like this like how it is here because our baby needs to learn our baby needs to grow on its own that's just based on my observance you know um maybe on your thinking maybe i'm wrong but you know it's fine to treat your kids like this you know it's a good thing that me and marco are on the same page on this one because if we weren't i think that we would definitely fight a lot about it but since marco he actually moved to london at a young age i think he moved to london at the age of like mid-20s or something so he actually was independent like you can say that he was already independent at the middle age which is unusual that's it that's all i wanted to explain to you guys i am going to edit now the video let me just show you what i'm talking about okay so when i say i edit the video this is what i do um marco's already like he like I have to fix the color, I have to do the changing of cameras, like that for example, and then go back to his face. Um, and you know, it's pretty easy, it's just, I guess the hard thing about this is when I have to color code, like, like this has a lot of coloring effects done because, um, you know, sometimes it's too bright and yeah, that's all I have to do. But. You know, there's nine of them that I have to finish and I've already finished four yesterday. I think the hard thing about this is um, I get like, I don't know, like I ache, not I ache. Um, in Tagalog, it's nangangalay. I don't know how you say it in English. When I sit for too long, my stomach and my back like hurts. It's, I start cramping, so I have to stand up every once in a while. Like sometimes I put a pillow here behind my back because it makes it a little more comfortable. I mean, every country, let me just go back. Every country is different, okay? I'm not saying that the way, you know, the culture here is wrong and the culture in the Philippines is right. There are a lot of, you know, Filipino, what do you call it, things that we do in the Philippines that are wrong. It's the same here, you know, it's the same in the Philippines, the same here in Italy, and I'm just, you know, just wanted to explain my observance on how kids are here and how we feel about it, so that's it. I really wanted to get it right Some balance in my life But I never really put up a fight Didn't follow my dreams And now I'm losing sleep yeah. What if I lost touch? What if I'll never get it right? I try to follow my heart But I lost it somehow Wish that someone could say It'll all be okay Just listen to me as I say I've already cooked it in a vlog because 
No, I was kind of rushing. But that's our lunch for the day. It's cauliflower and pasta. I don't know how to do this. I actually did a video about it. So if you want to check that out, I will leave the link video here. Healthy lunch today, right? Mm -hmm. And then you just kind of drizzle parmigiana. Very simple. Very nice. Voila. It's been a while since we've had this. It's still not well. The thing is, you don't have cauliflower in sometimes. I should go to the supermarket to buy it. Hey guys, okay, so it's currently 7 p.m. and I've just taken a nice hot shower and it feels so good when you take a shower when you're pregnant it just feels so good because it relaxes your whole body and your muscles and all that and it was really good because i've been sitting all day like i finished i actually finished marco's videos so anyways guys uh for dinner we're gonna go over to marco's parents house um i like i said i've just taken a shower marco's playing his game while he's playing his game i just decided to you know um get ready because it's 7 p.m we're probably gonna head over there by 8 p.m they live close by and i think uh i don't remember what my mother-in-law is gonna cook but i will ask marco later so i'm gonna go get dressed now i guess i'm not yet wearing maternity clothes um yeah maternity clothes because i'm still in my let's say 14th week of pregnancy though my you know i have a stomach already or i have a little not stomach but i have a baby bump already so what i've just been currently i guess using are you know my dresses but definitely i cannot wear any jeans anymore i can't even wear my shorts that are jeans the only shorts that i have was the one i was wearing this morning the remaining days of my pregnancy the remaining months of my pregnancy will be winter time or springtime so i don't think it's a smart idea to buy a few more let's say dresses so i think we are good with the dresses that i have for now yes anyways i'm gonna choose not that i have a lot of options but i'm just gonna choose really quick what i'm gonna wear but most probably a dress <laughs> so yes <laughs> I could start off with this. This one is actually it's pretty long. This is actually really good for maternity. Like if it was summertime throughout the whole year, then definitely I can wear this till I'm like what nine months pregnant because it's really really loose. This is the one that I wore when we had our prenup pictures taken, prenup photos taken in the Philippines. And yeah, I'm still sorry guys if you hear Mark explain his game. Sometimes it's really loud. I kind of just want to be like comfortable, you know, we're just going to leave our house to eat and that's it. No, it's not like anyone else will be there. Okay, so this other shirt, oh, sorry, not shirt, but this dress I bought from H&M. So I'm pretty sure you guys have seen me um, post on my Instagram with this dress. Uh, this one is getting a little tighter, especially at the waist, but this one is really cute, especially it's like a summer dress. And I bought this one um, at H&M. For I think only like three euros. I think they were at a discount, so yeah, but I don't think I'll be no, I don't feel like wearing this one. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go with this red cute overall top. But yeah, I think I'll just go with this and I will just you know wear a maybe a black tank top. It, sorry, there's a helicopter going by. I'll just wear a black tank top inside. Mm, it's not flowy, but you know, I can breathe in it so. That's all that matters. I'll show you guys my OOTD for the day. Hey guys, so this is our outfit for the day. I don't know if you've actually seen me guys vlog with this dress before, but I really think it's really, really cute. Like, I don't think this would be a good ideal for like uh, winter time. Though I can wear something like maybe long sleeve and maybe like leggings inside. This is what you're wearing this our old td for the day oh sorry guys i didn't actually tell you where this was bought this was bought from a local shop here in italy i'm just gonna probably wear my black slides currently 7 37 so i'm just waiting for marco to finish and then we are off for dinner guys it's time to sleep <laughs> maybe <laughs> yeah, <fine>, <laughs> Oh my god, he's beating up a pregnant woman. It's 11.24 and 
We are going off to sleep now. So we had pizza. What's it called? Miso pizza. Pizza rice. Pizza rice, and it was actually really good. So you have like, um, it's of course rice, and it has like salami inside, and uh, provola type of cheese, and also I think that's it. And then like um, breadcrumb at the very top. So it was like crunchy because you put it in the oven. Yes, I did eat the salami and that's okay because it was put in the oven and you know, it's cooked. And also egg inside. Oh, it was really, really good. But now it is time to sleep. I ate so much, like so much. It's time to sleep. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this vlog. If you guys did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And also, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet to keep up with my vlogs and videos. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell just so that you're notified once I upload another vlog or vid. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.